Wow. Listen to our machines from the lightning. Time to go. I think it's time to go. Now it's time to go. Hey, look at this. Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. So Dame and I have been out casually hiking through the backcountry here and just kind of going through the landscape. We've landed at our cellar hole, which should be a colonial site. We're going to metal detect. And uh, we're taking it slow today. It's very humid. Wicked. If we find a couple things, cool. If not, we got out. You should get out. There you go. So let's uh, turn them on and see what happens. Right on. All right, Dame got the first signal. Tobacco tin. Well. Yep, it's a thing. It's old. It is. All right. Definitely ain't from the cellar hole, but. Signal you can't miss. Yeah. And to give you a little tour of the cellar hole, this is it. It's actually uh, not completely rock lined. It's caved in. Little stone chimney stack. That's it. That's how we know it's really old. About the same numbers, but much different tone. Yeah, definitely different tone. Buckshot. Yeah, little buckyball. Impacted. Large caliber. It's got rings, but I don't think it's that old. A bit higher on the numbers. I got pottery. What is that? I think we got our first thing of interest. Oh, nice. There we go. Big dandy button, so we nailed it on the colonial action. No fancy, but still beautiful and big. Big dandy. Sweet. Oh, bottle cap. Oh, yeah. Interesting. <laughs> okay. 79.80. And that was every single signal here. Yes. So, in reality, you guys get to see exactly what was just dug. That was it. It's quiet. Dandy was nice. Yeah, well, totally worth getting here. Yes. So, what we're going to do now is go into explorative mode. Um, we're working the same area we have been recently that's publicly accessible, but, you know, a lot of the public has been here. Yes. <laughs> So we're going to hit the road and we're going to go exploring to see what else we can find and kind of look outside the box today because we know the cellar holes mm. have all been hit, but we'll look for those little nooks and crannies in between the farms. The spaces between. The spaces between. Good title. Yeah. All right. have a two-pronged fork. No way. Yes. In the clod. We also have, unexpectedly, rain coming in. Look at that clump. Oh, beautiful, James. See if I can expose the handle. Wow, it's really grown through. All right, let me work on this with another tool, gently. It's really bound on there. There you go, an extremely old fork. Wow. Well, it's kind of refreshing with the humidity, but oh, yeah. hopefully it doesn't turn into a... 
I mean, we, we do have shelter pretty close. Yes, fortunately. Wow, look at that. Awesome. Yep, machine's picking it up. Yep. Well, amongst all the thunder and shotgun shells, I've got me some type of snap button. That's a first. Pine tree. Never saw one like that before. Ain't a pine tree shilling, but you know, it's different. So this is what we're dealing with. Cans, dig holes, cans, just all kinds of debris. But Dame, Dame's approach today, and this is why he found that two prong, he's swinging where people probably wouldn't have. So I got this. I thought it was a drawer pull, but it's sort of the wrong dimensions. I think it's some sort of buckle. It's very old. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Huh. Well, good pull out of the trash, man. Yeah. Because the trash is just rich. Oh, rich and thick. All right. So with that going on, uh, the air temp has dropped like 10 degrees real quick. Dame and I are just going to finish out over here near the barn and uh, get out of the woods safely while we can. So. On the way in, you said it felt like spring. Yeah. Now, to me, it feels like right before Halloween. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's just, <laughs> it's been a weird day, condition wise, weather wise, vibe wise. Listen to our machines from the Lightning. Time to go. You think it's time to go? Pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's time to go. That was a few close strikes. That's close. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Everybody in. Oh, branches. Crazy enough, I can't see more than 50 feet in front of us. Yeah. Hey, look at this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> the road went away. Oh, trees. Seriously. That tree just barely missed us. Wow! You gotta get the out. Seriously. Well, that's a first. Woo. That tree, it hit the bumper. That would have taken us out. <laughs> now it's time to go. <laughs> Look at that. 
Wow. From bone dry. Yep, from bone dry. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at that traffic on a day like today on a road like this. You might be able to hug over here. Dude, a tr the tree you'll cross bounced off our bumper. There's one up there too. It wham! Right in front of us. <laughs> yeah, I know. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. There's nobody out on the paved roads. I know. <laughs> well, we've made it home. Now, what's the story with that? Uh, a young lady flagged us down and said we were dragging a tree, uh, and I was sort of in traffic, so I chucked it in the back. Little, uh, you get to take home a momentum. Yeah, yeah. You hit right there. I figured it out. Okay, so, you know, it's all about timing in life, right? I figure it was about three seconds between the bumper and the windshield with that tree dropping. So, good thing, I actually stopped when I swung over that 38 casing. Absolutely. To pick it up, because if I didn't... Oh, damn! Holy it would have been real messy. Glass, tree, water, crazy day. All right, everybody, get out, explore your world, be safe, but you know what? engage in it because man what a rush excitement <laughs> <laughs> see y'all very soon until next time enjoy your not thursday